Hey guys, it's Dan here. And what I'm going to be cooking for you today is going to be some chicken legs. I'm going to do them on my Pit Boss uh, little tabletop smoker. I'm going to be using Uncle Steve's um, Spicy R, I think. I'd have to go look here in a second. And uh, some of the smoke ball. Well, I'll show you all the ingredients and we'll get to cooking. All right, what we got going on here is just a package of drumsticks. We got uh, the Uncle Steve's Spicy R and we got a smoke bomb. I still haven't decided what barbecue sauce I'm gonna sauce them with at the end. Um, I've got a couple options here on the boat, but we'll figure that out towards the end of the video. Okay, guys, I got the uh, pellet grill warming up and I actually got it warming up to 350. And uh, the main reason I have it warming up to 350 is it's been storming off and on today. And I really thought the pop-up showers were over. Uh, but it looks like we could possibly get some more. Uh, so I'm going to try to hurry and do this because I've never used this grill out in the rain before. But I use a real liberal amount. And this is, like I said, the spicy R. And then we're just going to put a light dusting of the smoke bomb on here. Or maybe more than a light dusting. All right. Now let me get my tongs. We'll turn these bad boys over. And we'll get to do on the other side. If I can get this last one turned over. All right. Set this somewhere. I'll hold on to them here. Just don't want to cross contaminate anything. I will wash these before I pull the chicken out and everything, or I'll grab another pair. But if you've never tried this Uncle Steve shake, I'll leave a link in the video for it. He makes a fabulous product. Um, just the other night, I did some french fries again on the Blackstone. And my favorite thing is to put his gator shake on that stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, I've got these seasoned. I'm going to let them just sit here for probably five, ten minutes. Uh, as soon as the smoker comes up to temperature, we're going to be throwing them on the smoker. All right. Let's start throwing these on here. I got eight seasoned up right now. If I have more room, I'll put more on because that package actually had five more in it. So that's why I have my top rack already in there. Um, I think I can get a bunch on here. Get that to wrap itself around right there. I might not even have to use that top rack. We'll see. All right, well, those are looking good on there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go season up the other five that I have and we'll see about getting them to fit on here. All right, let's see how many of these we can actually squeeze on here. I am going to end up using that top rack, but... That's what it's made for. 
Uh, the top rack's gonna have one on it. And then all this leftover shake, waste not, want not, we're gonna put it on here. All right, I'm going to close this lid, and I'm going to leave it on for probably 45 minutes before I even try to turn them. Um, I've never cooked them at this temperature before, uh, but like I said, I'm rushing a little bit. But we'll see back in about 45 minutes and see what I got going on. All right, guys, this has been going on uh, about 50 minutes actually now. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take an internal temperature of these before I flip them. They smell real good. I can tell they're not close to being done yet. But let me get my instant read thermometer out. One twenty. Oh, I touched the bone on that one. Uh, let's go over to this one. About one thirty. Let me go up here to the front. About 130. Let me try this one up top. Wow, believe it or not, the one up top is the warmest one. All right, well, let me get these flipped real quick. I'm going to keep these going until they get at least 175, 180, and then I'll uh, put them in a tin pan and cover them with foil. Uh, once they reach about 160, I'll probably sauce them. But. I'll be back in just a little bit after I get all these flipped. Got them all flipped now. Uh, that's what they look like after they've been flipped. The ones underneath that rack were definitely a little bit of a challenge. While I got it open, let me check my hopper. I'm still doing real good on the hopper. Let me get that closed. Close this back up. And I'll probably go, I don't know, roughly... 30 minutes and uh, we'll check in on them and like I said I'm going to get them up to at least 170 175 before I saw some but I'll be back with you we'll get it figured out I'm still praying the rain doesn't hit all right let's get these uh, looked at see what temperature they're at Right in the heart of that one. Huh. That's only reading 136. One, 140. Let me try this top one again. 147. All right, they're definitely not ready to sauce yet. Uh, they've been on a total of, what, 50 minutes the first time and 30 minutes that time, so an hour and 20 minutes at uh, 350 degrees. I'm going to give them every bit of another 15, 20 minutes, and I will check them again. Okay, I finally got these to the temperature I wanted them. They're all between 165 and 170, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, so what I've decided to use, I'm going to use this apple butter barbecue. Uh, it's a dip and a sauce. It's made by a local guy. I buy it at the uh, fair every year. And uh, I figured this apple butter would give it a little bit of a sweet taste. So let me pour a little bit in a bowl. might have poured a little more in this bowl but let's just start glazing these and while you guys are watching me glaze these this would be a perfect time for you to hit the like button subscribe to my channel um, 
hit that notification bell right next to the subscription button and you'll be notified every time I put a video out. wonder how I'm going to do the ones underneath. Well, we'll figure that out here in just a second. We're going to go ahead and finish doing this. Um, if you guys comment on my videos, um, I try to respond to every um, comment and everything. Sometimes it takes me a few days, but I try to do it in a halfway timely manner depending upon how busy I am. Now that they're all glazed, I'm going to go ahead and close the lid again. I'm going to give them about 10 minutes to finish up. And uh, I believe it was because it's rained twice on me during this cook. Uh, it's very windy right now. Um, I've probably got two hours, 15 minutes already in them. By the time I do this, I'm going to have two and a half hours in this cook time. Don't judge your cook time by what it took me today. Uh, it's bad conditions out here for cooking. I just wanted to do it today, so. All right, guys, don't judge your cook time by mine. I'm gonna have two and a half hours by the time this is glazed, but it's been very windy. I've been rained on twice. Uh, conditions were terrible to be using a pellet grill, but we did it anyway. I wanted to do this video, show you guys how it's done. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll be back as soon as that glaze sets up. It wouldn't be a Dan's Outdoor Cooking video if I didn't mess something up. And somehow I lost all the sound for this part. But I'm just showing you the chicken legs are finally done after an extremely long cook because I got rained on about four times, three or four at least. Um, and it was real windy out all day. Uh, but I hung in there. They turned out great. As you can see from this part of the video, uh, they set up real nice. I'll be back here in just a few of the taste test. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all this. All right, guys. <clears throat> Today's cook, it, it just took forever. Uh, between the rain showers, the wind, and everything else, uh, don't judge your cook on the time it took mine. Uh, like I said, rain and everything. Although the sun does look like it's getting ready to come out now. But look how beautiful this leg looks. Everything's glazed good on it. So let's take a bite of it and let's see how we did. Mmm. I have to admit, that is extremely good. Well, I got a lot of cleanup to do and everything else, guys, and it's starting to get late. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, but please have a blessed day. Enjoy the great outdoors and get to cooking.